Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to disconnect racing wheels. Certain racing wheels are not working with the game. So you can disconnect the racing wheel and then once the game is up and running, you can connect the wheel once again and then check. Now, if you have any kind of additional, any kind of USB adapter which you are not using, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. So if you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, you can close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. And over here, you can turn off Steam overlay over here and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience running, you can turn off in-game overlay. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close MSI Afterburner so, or Revert Unit. So if you have any kind of overclocking application running, close it and then launch the game. Also, if, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to uninstall VZOR. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if you have VJOY installed on your computer, uh, you can open control panel, click on uninstall program and find VZOY in the list. So if you have VJOY installed, you can simply uninstall it. You can uninstall from here and click on yes. Or if you find VJOY over here, you can simply just make a right click and then click on uninstall. So if you have VJOY installed, you can uninstall it. And after you uninstall VJOY, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. And if you have any other application which is similar to VJOY, uninstall it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, Select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game and then checks still not working. Again, go to properties and this time type in dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next. And then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now AMD users can go to AMD website. Before you install the latest version, first of all, uninstall the current version, restart your computer, then go to AMD website and then find the latest driver and then install it then make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 686, open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder open the common folder, open the game folder, and then select the game exe file, click on add. And once the game is added over here, find the game in the list, 
So once you find the game, click on this down arrow and select over here GPU preference high performance. Again, click on add desktop app and then open this Tokyo Extreme Racer binaries Win64. Select this exe file and then click on add. Now scroll down and find the game in the list. Now once you find the game, click on this down arrow and select high performance NVIDIA processor over here and then launch the game. Desktop user, make sure that you connect the display cable or its DMI cable to the dedicated graphic card, not the motherboard slot. So connect to the connect the cable to the graphic card. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So download this x86 and x64. So download this x86 and then run this exe file. Now click on repair. If you see repair, if you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. And download this x64 file as well. And again, run this exe file. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install, click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart is a must. After the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now, before you delete the save game file, let me inform you, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data. Open Local. Open Tokyo Extreme Racer folder. Open Saved folder. Uh, you simply go back and just make a right click on the game exe uh, game folder and then you can rename it now if you want to create a backup you can just copy this folder and then paste it to the desktop and once you have a backup now you can rename it dot old and then you can launch the game or you can simply delete this folder and then launch the game and then check but you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch Next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game files, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, open this folder, binaries, win64, Make a right click on the, this exe file, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game and then check. But still not working. In that case, you can, when you put a check on all these boxes, not working, then you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, go to Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browser apps, and this time open this folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open. 
Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top. Click on allow another app, click on browse and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then open this folder, binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. Now in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. After the, during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.